You know what's pretty awesome? Getting to wake up every day and do something you love. It's crazy to think that I take pictures of houses for a living. And over the past four years, I've learned a lot about this business and I've helped others get into real estate photography full time. And everyone wants to know the same thing. How do I get more clients? And honestly, it's not as hard as you think. I take a very personal but logical approach to gaining more clientele. And honestly, I spend very little money doing it. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you my top three strategies on how to get more clients with real estate photography. All right. So first, you're going to need a Facebook page for your business. Now, remember that we're going to come back to it here in a second. All right. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to get on Facebook and you're going to search for realtors in your area. Just go up to the search bar, type in realtors near me and then try to figure out who is a real estate agent. It's not too hard because usually they're going to have a professional headshot and in their bio, it's going to say that they're a real estate agent with whatever brokerage they're with. All right. So when you find them, all you need to do is send them a friend request. That's it. You're going to do this until you have hundreds of realtors on your friends list. Now, super important. Do not message any of them with the services that you offer. And here's why no one likes being sold to. So instead, here's what you need to do. Remember when I said you needed a business page, here's where that comes into play. So what you're going to do is make sure that you're uploading quality stuff to your business page. Basically it's just photos and videos of what you do and just promoting it a little bit. Hey, check out this house, check out this kitchen, whatever. Once your business page has all that stuff on there, what you're going to do, you're going to go to your business page and you are going to invite all of your friends on Facebook to like your page. This is also going to include all of the real estate agents that you just added on Facebook recently. Most people are going to go ahead and like the page just because it notifies them and it's easy just to hit like and move on about your day. Now that you've done that, you've got them in the palm of your hands, literally. Now you can leverage your business page onto your personal page where these real estate agents are at. So in my business, I do things like post everything to our business page and then I will share the highlighted properties onto my personal page. And then I'll put something like, Hey, check out this house we shot. And then I'll also put instructions on how to schedule with us if they would like to do the same. What you've done now is gathered a ton of potential clientele and you have showed them what you offer without shoving it down their throats. They get to see it on their own time on their own Facebook feed. This has been the biggest way I have gained clientele just by seeing what I do and how to schedule with me. You have to stay consistent with this though. Do not let anybody on your friends list, including all of the realtors, forget who you are and what you do. All right, moving on to number two, and that is use door hangers. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but use a door hanger to your advantage to let everybody know who shot this house. The ones that I have for my business just say, this house was photographed by Tyler Frazier Real Estate Photography. This is a great idea because every person that has walked through that house has already seen your photos and now they know who done them. All right, moving on to number three, and that is networking in person. Honestly, you have to get out and meet these agents. You got to find out where they're at when they're not on social media. And a lot of times it's just at their brokerage office. So what I recommend doing is going to the agencies that have a lot of volume of realtors, which are places like Century 21, Keller Williams, Remax, big box places like that. You're going to go up to the front office. There's usually a secretary. You just greet and say, Hey, my name's Tyler. I do real estate photography here in the area. Can I drop some cards off for you guys? Usually they're not going to care if you just drop off some cards. And if you're lucky, you might be able to get into a conversation with a few of them about what you offer. If you've done the first two steps for long enough, these agents have probably already heard of you. So when you go in person and actually meet them, that just kind of seals the deal. And now they feel like they really do know you, which is going to lead to them remembering you as a real estate photography or videography guy when they need it. If you implement these three strategies into your business, your clientele will grow. Now, here's a bonus tip. Just be kind. I mean, it's really that simple. People just want to hang around other people that are nice to be around. Just be a good person and have good business processes. And these real estate agents are going to tell their friends, which are other realtors about you. Listen, building your clientele does not happen overnight, but if you work hard enough and you are consistent with it, it can happen really quickly. The ultimate goal for you and your business is to become the best option for their real estate media. You need to have good quality, fast turnaround times, great customer service, and just be a good person. Literally, that's it. I literally spend $0 in advertising my business because honestly, I don't have to. 
other people that have worked with us do the work for me through word of mouth advertising. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about real estate photography and videography, consider subscribing. That way you can follow along. That's all I have for now. I'll see you in the next one.